Watch out! Apollo Justice Ace Attorney is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB content rating system due to it featuring mild blood, suggestive themes, and violent references? Whatever those are. Oh well, viewer discretion is advised for this Let's Play series. Hey there, Artie! I'm Marty. Oh boy, oh boy, I've been waiting forward to this for like the whole Let's Play up to this. <laughs> you have, you were like, Case 4 is great. Case 4 is my favorite case in this game. Hi everybody, welcome back to Apollo Justice Ace Attorney. Before we begin, Marty has a theory. I have a theory, so this is Turnabout Succession. Yes. I am picturing right now a family, and there's a child that is going to inherit the business, and they're going to be like, you need to inherit this business. And they're like, no, I'm going to- I'm going to kill gonna a guy. I'm going to carve my own path, and then they're the person that gets killed. Oh. Which would be interesting, because then, like, the parents would be like, oh my gosh, like, was this our fault for trying to, like, push our kid into doing this? And it's just, like, something completely unrelated. But hmm. they'll, like, keep blaming themselves, and then they refuse to testify, which will make <laughs> us really annoyed. And I, I haven't thought okay. about this super far, but no, this, I like this, it. this All is right. my idea. Okay. Let's start. Three, two, one, go. Cool. Gonna watch this, because it's probably gonna be a watchable thing. And that is the whole truth of this case. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Basin system. What? Is this Sword Art Online? No. Oh. Somebody dying? Yep, someone's dying in a hospital! Or. In order to understand it myself, I had to know the story of these last seven long years. Oh, he went back in time. No, he didn't go back in time. He. Yeah. He had to figure out Mr. Wright's story. I guess that makes sense. Nothing happens by chance. All is connected. Yeah, no such thing as coincidence in this world. A gun? Oh no! What in the world? And now... You stand ready to begin the final chapter of this story. Oh my gosh. Blue haired girl, I'm obsessed. No, is she the one dead? I wanted to voice her! No! Will the defendant be found guilty or innocent? The decision is yours. <laughs> it's ours? Oh no, it's him! <laughs> From jail. <laughs> Mr. Stewart, he's back. He's back! <laughs> he's come back. So, in case you didn't know, this is the final case of the game. Oh, there, are darn. there are only four There's cases. Only four. Stupid. Okay, to be fair, before this game, there was only one game that had five cases. That's and true. That was, uh, Trials and Tribulations. Funny fact, I think this game came out before Trials and Tribulations in uh, the UK. Oh, so that's that would be confusing. So yeah, this is the last case, and I think it's a fantastic last case. Other people oh, disagree, though. Gavin! <laughs> October <Mr>. 7th, 10.47am, <laughs> write any fiend agency, Mr. Stewart. Mr. Stewart! <laughs> He's so weird. <laughs> hey, Apollo! Look on TV! Look, look! What's with your court pose outside of court? <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm kind of busy. Whoa, look at that! He's the last grammary, all right? Amazing! Apollo, you should be watching this! Ow, ow, ow! What? What? I was writing about our last case in my journal. Lawyers are supposed to write things in their records, Apollo, not journals. And what now? That case was three months ago. Hey, it's a long story. I did a lot, you know. I was important. <laughs> <laughs> I want to vacuum pack the feel of the moment for later. Right now I'm wowing the crowd by figuring out how Lamawa disappeared. That's right! Uncle Valent did that illusion too. But you're missing him on TV right now. I was just getting to the good part. But they're my favorites. <laughs> I suppose I should watch a little TV with her. After all, her father's expecting me to look after her while he's away. A plus parenting has always feels right. Has always right. Feels right. <laughs> hey, hey, guy who kind of sort of works for me, but I mostly ignore an insult. Can you look after my daughter for like a few months? Thanks. Not really my <laughs> daughter, just like adopted daughter. <laughs> True. What you're seeing now is a rehearsal <laughs> of the greatest magic show on earth, <laughs> happening right here at our very own Sunshine Coliseum. The Sunshine Coliseum. Hey, that's where the Gavin Ears concert was! Only three more days until miracles happen here right before your unbelieving eyes! The legendary Troop Grammary is performing for the <gasps> first time girl. in seven years! There's a girl this time! There's a girl this time! <laughs> that's going to be great! I'm so there! You and Daddy are coming too! 
The legendary Grammaries. If Trucy's real father were still alive, he'd be on the stage performing miracles. I've got the tickets and everything. Here's yours, Apollo. Magic show ticket received. Squeak! That was not a squeak. That was a... <laughs> <laughs> ah, you're here. Working hard or hardly working? Oh, I thought I thought that, that was Gavin. <laughs> I thought that was Mr. Stewart. What are you doing out of jail? I followed you in my car. car. Chris. <laughs> That's what it the voice sounded like that. I was like, who's this? <laughs> tell me, Chris, I think you need to see the school counselor. Me? So tell me about Sonic. Sonic. What's he doing? What's up with him? Why do you want to know? Why You're do being you kind of weird. Professor? I'm just your average substitute teacher who works for the <laughs> government. government. <laughs> We're gonna be obsessed with that for this entire case, I can already tell. Yep. Hey, how have you been? Hey there, stranger. Not exactly the kind of greeting I'd want to hear from my own kid. <laughs> Though he has been gone a long time. <laughs> how goes it, Trucy? Here, I got a present for you. Yay! Pudding! I love pudding! Ooh, it's farm fresh. What does farm fresh pudding mean? <laughs> like farm fresh eggs. Oh. I, you go to Meyer. Hey, this pudding, this pudding, mm, that's farm bread. <laughs> We're not going to get anywhere in this no. case. <laughs> and not just one pudding, but there's three whole cups. I'll have to pace myself. Well, I'm beat. That's right, Daddy. You're on a top secret mission. You've got to take it easy with the secrets, you know. <laughs> How right you are. So you still can't tell us what your mission is? His eyes narrowed. <laughs> Maybe it is time. It has something to do with you anyway. What? Huh? With me? I'm setting you up with Iris. <laughs> is she the great gal? No. <laughs> Iris is still in prison. <laughs> She's kind of a is terrible she? person. <laughs> is she still in prison? I don't know. She's, she uh, she definitely uh, was an accomplice in case 3-5. Yeah, that's true. And she, she is... If you think about it, she was a pretty terrible person. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, maybe you're getting top secret mission, too. Maybe you could be one of those guys. But can't I just be a defense attorney? <laughs> to be honest, telling you about the mission was my whole reason for coming here today. Not to look after your daughter or anything. <laughs> no. <laughs> what? Tell me, you've heard of the Juris system, yes? The Juris system? That's right. The new legal system everyone's talking about. Have you heard of it, Apollo? Huh? Uh... Maybe? Maybe not as many people are talking about it as I thought. The Juris system, huh? So, Daddy, what's this Juris system thing? Well, Trucy, do you know what a jury is? I've heard of it. Isn't that those people who sit in court in those old courtroom dramas? The ones who get to decide if a guy's innocent or guilty? Do you know, Apollo? Only from TV. It's 12 people chosen from the community, right? Well, they're thinking about reviving that system. They're calling it the new system, the Juris system. No more doing whatever you like, Your Honor. Not quite that harsh. The jurists cooperate with the judge. They help analyze the case from different angles. Ah, and there will only be six of them under the current proposal, right? Wow, you know your stuff, Apollo! Their findings directly affect the verdict. Hopefully, people will start taking the courts a little more seriously now. I feel like I'm on some kind of educational TV show. Starring Dr. Wright! <laughs> Dr. Wright, his assistant Trucy, and Mascot Apollo, the perfect team. Mascot? Hey! It is Poor perfect. Apollo! He just gets beaten up all the time. But that's Phoenix Wright as well. <laughs> He's getting beaten up by Phoenix Wright! Phoenix Wright should Which know what hilarious. it's like! Yeah, I know. <laughs> so, what is this secret mission? The Jura system is my mission, more or less. Anyway, keep in mind that new ideas like this system are always risky, Apollo. Too true. Everyone's got an opinion, they just talk and talk and nothing gets decided. Kind of like you, Apollo. Uh, I'm not that bad. Am I? In any case, we're going to give it a shot. A test, if you will. I don't like tests. We'll take a case as a sample and choose six jurists. I'll be the one helping with that process, incidentally. Helping how? Well, for one, I'll be the chair of the Juris System Simulated Court Committee. The chair, constructs the, uh, the chair constructs the ideal situation, choosing the case, the Juris candidates, even the judge in the courtroom. Dang. Whoa, 
know, it's like you have a real job. I was never that good at the piano, to be honest. Once a lawyer, always a lawyer, I guess. Yeah. The trial's tomorrow, by the way. Don't miss it. The trial simulation, that is. A simulation, huh? Sounds interesting. So, what kind of case is the trial simulation about? Well, since it is the first run through of a new system, I wanted something simple. Good thinking. No sense wearing yourself out on something too serious. True. The case is a murder. That's not simple at all! <laughs> By simple, did you mean that the defendant is... Guilty. Yes. Most likely. So, good luck, Apollo. Um, with what? Being the defense. <laughs> with the trial tomorrow. <laughs> You're defending, of course. Recall that I said it had something to do with you. Go for it, Apollo. It's just a test case, anyway. No sweat. Yeah, but there's still a verdict to be decided. And a potentially serious sentence. The most serious in a worst-case scenario. Ah! You mean the verdict's for real? <laughs> that's not a test trial! That's a real trial! <laughs> All the forms have been filed. There's no turning back now. Why did you give us one day's notice, Phoenix? <laughs> you suck! <laughs> that's smirk. <laughs> so as someone pointed out in their last play, they were like, if he literally didn't have that one pixel, he would just be like, mm. well, sometimes one pixel's all it takes to be happy. <laughs> the trial begins tomorrow at 10 a.m. Hope you can make room in your schedule. Wh why am I only hearing about this now? Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, there was a change this morning. I picked a new case. Uh, <laughs> something that happened last night. Um, wait... <laughs> All right, so what case are you going to use? You really want to know, don't you? Of course I do! I mean, I'm going to be defending, aren't I? If all goes well, then yes. Of course, this is just a test. I swear, Edgeworth better be the test prosecutor. <laughs> or else you're quitting the Let's Play. <laughs> just straight up, sorry, none of this is getting uploaded. <laughs> no, I would be fine. We wanted everyone to start without preconceptions. A blank slate, as it were. There's a difference between having a blank slate and just being totally clueless. <laughs> Whose dumb idea was that anyway? Well, mine. Committee chair, remember? Oh. <laughs> Your dumb decision. <laughs> well, if you want to know that badly, I suppose... I could give you permission to examine the scene of the crime. Good! That's better. But you can't talk to anyone involved with the case. What?! Then how am I supposed to defend?! You let me worry about the details there. Remember, I'm in charge of this trial. All of it. But you don't want it to backfire, do you? Apollo. If I'm in charge of the whole trial, that means the entire affair is my responsibility. For good or for bad. Dang, that pixel art. Just do what you can. And don't worry, I know what I'm doing. Uh, <laughs> Alright! Yeah. I'd recommend going down to the detention center. Your client's waiting for you. You can ask about the scene there. Clients? But you just said I couldn't talk to anyone involved! Oh, you can talk to your client. If you can get her to talk. Oh, boy. <laughs> what's, she, what's she gonna do? Is she, like, terrified? Or is she gonna be, like, speaking a different language? Or is she just gonna be like... Ooh, ooh. I, I don't know. She's a palm reader. She <laughs> only reads palms. <laughs> she only reads by touching things. <laughs> we had Lime Hua who was blind. Now we have someone who's mute. <laughs> sure. Well, time's a-wasting. Oh, by the way, ask about vowel grammar. Uh, by the way, these tickets... Hey, Apollo, I know you're all excited about that secret mission. But what about this? The Troop Grammarie Gr Grand Magic Show! Huh? Oh right, the card tricks. They're not card tricks! The Grand Illusions! Miracles! The Apocalypse! How will Earth- Okay, so what? That's three whole days from now. It's at the Sunshine Coliseum! Let's go! Let's go today! We can say hi to Uncle Valen. Have fun. What? I can't go by myself! You know I'm not very outgoing. Right! <laughs> Why not go with her? But- what about the secret mission? Oh, don't worry about that. You'll hear all about it tomorrow, regardless. I don't trust that smile. He knows something that he's not telling me. Yippee! Now you can take me to the Coliseum! <sighs> I suppose it wouldn't kill me to pop over there. Ah, Grammarie. That reminds me. What's this, Daddy? Isn't that silk hat the Grammarie seal? Consider it a birthday present, Trucy. <gasps> Thanks! It's great! But... Today isn't my birthday. Hmm. Good point. What day is it today, Apollo? Huh? Today? Um, I think it's Recycle Your Plastics Day. Then it's a Recycle Your pl plas Plastics present. Yippee! So it's plastic! 
I've given up trying to understand them. It's much easier that way. <laughs> so, what is it? Can I open it, Daddy? No. Huh? You'll need that envelope someday. Someday soon. Don't open it until then. What? Well, why didn't you just hold on to it until then? Because that would be the logical thing to do! <laughs> Grammary envelope obtained. An envelope about the grammaries, huh? Hmm. They're like, guess what? You are a grammary, so you need to join. Well, the we group. we know that already. We, you're a, you're the real deal. <laughs> the plant. It intrigues you, doesn't it? Not really. It's just the only thing in here that doesn't have some secret function. <laughs> no, no secrets, but lots of memories. And a name too. Want to hear it? Not really. <laughs> His name is Charlie. If you were curious. Really, I wasn't. <laughs> I was. Charlie's great. Charlie Best character in the series. Oh yeah, hands down. I can't believe you're using this cutting a person apart box as shelf space. You know, I used that trick on stage the other night. Imagine my surprise when I pulled one of my shirts out of the box. You should really examine your props before the show. I love the court music. No one's practicing the piano as usual. Even calling him a pianist is an insult to pianists everywhere. Okay, Apollo. I'm gonna guess what you're thinking right now. Huh? What, was I making a funny face or something? Ah, I'm so hungry! I'm right, right? Of course I am. There's no of course about it. You guessed wrong. Besides, that's not what I'm thinking. It's what you're thinking. Ah, how did you do that? You read my mind, Apollo. At least you got that pudding. That's right! Try not to eat my share, will you? That wasn't for you. That was for Trucy. Yeah, there's a daddy-daughter present. A plate of plastic spaghetti for displaying in a shop. Where the heck does she get this stuff? <laughs> I don't know. Apollo's just, like, progressively getting more and more done with these two. Yeah. Ooh, careful there, Apollo. A lot of people run up to that table. Or run and into that table, you know. Like a coffee table that we might have upstairs. Why, some client knocked the pot clean over the other day. Um, why not get a more sturdy table? Maybe the table's partially to blame. There's no maybe to this. That fiend is a death trap. Phoenix Wright's like, <laughs> well, maybe, but I can't afford a new one. Oh, uh, those legal books were left by my mentor. Too bad I gave up the practice before reading them. <laughs> that would be There's Phoenix quite a few Wright. magic books in there, too, you know. <laughs> those would be truces. She'll remember they're there eventually. I'm sure. For a moment, I thought Mr. Wright might do magic, too. A scary thought. Magic poker, magic poker. <laughs> magic Christmas. <Yep. laughs> ah, presenting, are we? I did my fair share of that back in the day. Showed my attorney's badge to a lot, too. He may look cool and calm now, but you should have seen him before. <laughs> you know me too well, Trucy. I'm glad I provided this opportunity for a little family bonding. <laughs> I guess everything else is probably... Do not open until the time is right. <laughs> Do not open till Xmas. Oh, let's examine that. Just open it. <laughs> I told you not to do it. I was about to say, can we even examine it? Yeah, we can. Ah, looky here. A handwritten signature. It says... I can't read it. That seems odd to me. I mean, isn't it a signature intending to show ownership? What's the use if no one can read it? Isn't it enough if you can read your own? Oh! I never thought of it that way! I just want to talk to this girl who might have trouble speaking. Alright, fine. We'll go to the detention center next. <laughs> Even though we could also go to see Tuxedo Mask. We don't need to see Tuxedo Mask yet. Are you ready, Apollo? Ready? For what? For what? For the Troop Grammar and Grand Magic Show! Uh, it's not like I'm getting up on stage or anything. What are you talking about, Apollo? You can't enjoy magic if you're not a part of what's going on upstage. I'll lend you my spare costume if you need one. Huh? You mean I can't go in this? <laughs> no. Doesn't get more straightforward than that. <laughs> poor Apollo. Poor, poor Apollo. Alright, detention center. Detention I know. center. I want to see if it's the blue-haired girl. October 7th, detention center, visitor's room. That's 20 minutes we've been waiting here! 20 minutes! Maybe I should complain. I'm sure that guard has better things to do than stand there pretending he doesn't see us. You know the minute we get angry, the client will show. It always works that way. Like shouting, oh, waiter, and then they're standing right behind you? 
Oh, guard! Is our client going to be much longer? What are you talking about? Haven't you already started the meeting yet? Huh? She's invisible. Oh, never mind. She's there. Yeek! Whoa, whoa, where do you come from? Oh my gosh, she has blue hair and she's so well, cute. Well, well, anyway, please have a seat. Okay, she's also one of my favorite characters. I really like this girl. <laughs> I'm nervous, Apollo. It's the silence. It builds suspense. So am I. I'm nervous too. Why don't you do something, Trucy? You're a magician, aren't you? Th that's right. Okay. Perfect! That's what I wanted! I'm the amazing Mr. Hat. And she runs away. <laughs> or she faints. Fast ah! She passed out! Hmm. Miss Magic Underwear might have been a better bet. That's magic panties, Apollo! She draws? She looks really pretty. I love- is she ha wearing headphones? No, it's no, like a- she's got like the bonnet. Bonnet, okay. Um, uh, hi! 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 <laughs> well, uh, I'm your defense. I really think it has to be fate, you know? And by fate, I mean destiny. Uh, did you know I'm good with astrology? Tell me, what's your sign? No, bad, bad star. No, 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 no. I don't feel bad for Apollo anymore. <laughs> She's like Gemini. I can tell you mine if you like, Apollo. No, never mind. I just got carried away there. I seem destined to get difficult clients, it seems. It's true. All you of his always... clients have been difficult. Machi's All been his them. best. And he, we, we couldn't even speak with him for most yeah. of it. <laughs> Silence is gold. Um, so what's your name? Oh, right. I I'm supposed to introduce myself first. I'm Apollo. Apollo Justice. Apollo's good at hitting on the ladies. <laughs> yeah. And I'm Juicy Wright. I know. This is going nowhere fast. She is very quiet. Hey, I know. Maybe you can tell us what happened? I'm your defense attorney, after all. Also, Apollo's probably using his cords of steel right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. She's just oh, like... I'm your defense attorney. <laughs> um, anything out of the ordinary happened lately? I love her shirt. The striped pink shirt is great. Yeah, it's cool. Well, the other day this tourist from out of town stopped to ask me for directions. Later, Trucy. I feel like I need to ask directions myself here. Well, that was fruitless. Though I think I understand despair a little better now. You did good, Apollo. L look she's doing her nails! What? Are nails more important than defense? Is that it? Let's go, Trucy. Wow. Excuse me. C could you... Could you read this? Um, sure. I feel like a teenager on a first date. And this is the love letter we passed from desk to desk in school. <laughs> Stop looking so wistful and read it, Apollo. <laughs> I want that fan fiction. <laughs> oh, Apollo at school meeting, like, with his girlfriend? Yeah. It, it's a business card with a name and address. The name is Vera Misham. The address is for Drew Studio. Okay. Vera's card added to the court record. Or Vera? Vera or Vera. I always I thought it's... it was Vera. Well, oh. we knew someone named Vera, and I think that's how it's pronounced. Right. Oh, that's true. Yeah. I always thought it was Vera. Also, I accidentally skipped the text box, but that's okay. I think uh, it was Trucy just like, we'll check it out and come back later, okay? Okay. <laughs> well, it looks like we're finished here. I wonder if Drew's studio is the scene of the crime. Let's go find out. Heck yeah. We don't want to go to Tuxedo Mess? Well, oh. we, can, we, we have to. We, we, we could go it's back destiny. to write it. Okay, All right, okay. fine. We'll go, we'll go to Drew's studio. <laughs>